Welcome back to Vox Terra, and if you have not done so, please do subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. Well, whether the infrastructure bill or, and reconciliation bills are still in the news cycle when you're watching this video, whether it's still an issue or not, this video will still be helpful to you. Well, I'm going to emphasize again today the environmental organizations that are calling for us to pass that reconciliation bill, and for us in particular, we the people, to contact our Congress to speak for passing it. I just want to bring up that one of the arguments you might hear against it is going to be effects on the economy. Well, two things I would like to point out to that is, is one, who's funding those studies claiming it would hurt the economy? You know, that's another issue here that I heard about on, on a show called Climate Pod in an interview there that not only have fossil fuel petrochemical interests funded what is called fringe science to spread doubt about climate science, and the, and the fossil fuels role in the changing of our climate and the, and the pollution in general, but also they fund economic studies. And those studies will be set up in such a way to skew the results to what they want to have. But even at a more fundamental level, believe those studies or not, do you really want to settle for a society where we're just being paid to poison ourselves and pump our biosphere full of carcinogens and greenhouse gases and call that a living? So on October 7th, I received two emails, one from Sierra Club and another from Union of Concerned Scientists. And I also went and shocked in the Environmental Defense Fund to see their stand. Well, well, all three of them are calling that we pass this reconciliation bill. And here's why. From the Sierra Club, the Build Back Better Act offers historic climate investments that will put our nation on a path to 100% clean energy by 2035. But right now, provisions are under attack. Right, and that I mentioned in that Bernie Sanders video, provisions are under attack by those very fossil fuel petrochemical interests that don't want to see change. So on that October 7th email, they said we need to contact our senators today. They specifically mentioned we should be supporting the Clean Electricity Performance Program, or CEP, and Clean Energy Tax Credits. Well, they're emphasizing those two in particular because they may not like every aspect of the reconciliation bill, but those are really two key aspects towards putting us on a cleaner, more renewable, less consumptive path to power generation. And in their words, and I agree with this, avoiding the worst of the climate crisis. Well, what do they mean by avoiding the worst of the climate crisis? Because you may be hearing it's too late, it's too late, and in some ways that's true. Things are already set in motion now called feedback loops by the excessive burning of fossil fuels. But from everything what I see, be it looking at the U.S. climate assessment and so forth, we are looking at scenarios of continue business as usual and just drill and pump the earth full of greenhouse gases or stop that and transition away. Two scenarios, one a more severe climate, more severe weather, and less still severe, more severe climate, but less dangerously so. The club also points out that this, this, in, this bill will create many 8 million jobs. Well, so here again we get back to that, how will we be employed? Continue poisoning ourselves or something less toxic? Now from the Union of Concerned Scientists, a similar call but some nuanced differences. Interestingly different than the other call, supporting a food system that is resilient to climate impacts. So that, that's terrific, we're, we're talking about the farms. We could be talking about more emphasis on organic farming. And in their words, this is an all too rare moment to pass sweeping, bold action tackling the climate crisis and investing in a clean future. Call your legislators today. Just do it. From the Environmental Defense Fund, the third and last one I'll be citing from today, the Build Back Better Act is the only bill on the table. The only bill on the table, right? This is the only thing on the table. The Green New Deal is there, but it's not on the table right now. That has the potential to meet this critical moment. The best available science dictates that we reduce our emissions of climate pollution sharply in the next couple of decades to avert the worst impacts of the climate crisis. To align with this, the U.S. has, a, has to set a goal of reducing its climate emissions by at least 50% by 2030. The transformative investments proposed in the House Budget Bill point the way. So now if we look at that bill line by line, well, we're not going to like everything in it. We, as people who care about the environment and want a, a healthier transition. But here's the issue. 
I myself, when I was younger, and you could say maybe more idealistic or maybe even more naive and more easily manipulated by those trying to obstruct change, I remember opposing a big bill at a state level when I was a young environmentalist because it included things I didn't really believe in because it was that, you know, grand bargain, you know, that Bernie Sanders talked about. We're bargaining with what he's calling the ruling class, these different business interests. Well, and as long as you have a capitalist democracy, they're always going to get their foot in those things. There's always some natural element of corruption within this system, and that just requires vigilance. But if you don't step up when the environmentalists are calling to act, we're not going to get change. Again, I just urge you, if you haven't done so, contact your Congress at, at Senate.gov and House.gov, and I'll provide you links below. And if you, and if you already missed that chance, well, hey, there's going to be other chances to take action. And at least now you have a better idea of, you know, listen to what the environmental organizations are saying. Listen to what Vox Terra is saying. And until next time, please make sure you're subscribed or clicking that notification bell. And as always, peace be with you.